NATO members have military personnel in Ukraine. Jens Stoltenberg. NATO member states have military advisors stationed at their embassies in Ukraine. Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg has told MSNBC News. In an interview on Sunday, Stoltenberg was asked whether the US-led bloc is planning to send additional personnel to help Kiev in its fight against Russia. There are no plans for any NATO combat presence in Ukraine, but of course, several NATO allies have men and women in uniform at the embassies giving advice, he said. The comments came after Pentagon spokesman Major General Pat Ryder told Politico that the US is considering deploying more advisors to its embassy in Kiev. According to the outlet, the personnel could be tasked with handling logistics and helping with the maintenance of US-supplied weapons systems. Although French President Emmanuel Macron and several other European leaders have refused to rule out placing NATO boots on the ground in Ukraine in the future, the bloc has so far maintained that it is not a direct participant in the conflict. Stoltenberg hailed the $61 billion aid package for Kiev passed by the US House of Representatives on Saturday after months of stalling, but warned that the delay has had real consequences on the battlefield. The Ukrainians have now for months been outgunned. The much-needed aid, which includes money for weapons for Ukraine, was stuck in the house for months due to political wrangling. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has complained that dwindling American aid has caused ammunition shortages on the front line, also warning that Kiev could be defeated if the delays continue. US President Joe Biden blamed the fall of the Donbass stronghold of Avdiivka to Russia in February on congressional inaction. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has asked NATO allies to provide the country with more weapons, saying that the courage of Ukrainian people cannot be the only defense against Russian aggression. In an extraordinary session of Ukraine NATO Council, Zelensky said Ukraine needs at least seven more Patriot systems or similar anti-aircraft missile systems, saying that they can save a lot of lives and make a real difference. Zelensky reminded that there have been discussions about the deliver of a million artillery shells for Ukraine and these shells must be finally delivered to the front line. Furthermore, the Ukrainian leader called for the provision of long-range missiles and aircraft. If we have a coalition of fighters, then we need a sufficient number of aircraft to actually overcome the Russian air fleet. It is not a matter of the number of promises, but the actual number of aircraft in the sky, he said. Zelensky asked the Allies to speed up the delivery of these weapons. Reminding that almost 1,200 Russian missiles, including aeroballistic ones, as well as more than 1,500 Shahids were fired at Ukraine just from the start of the year, Zelensky said, the courage of our people cannot be the only defense against drones and missiles. Our positions on the battlefield need real protection. Ukraine did not ask to send your soldiers. Ukrainians hold the front line on their own. Furthermore, Zelensky said, Putin must be brought down from heaven to earth, and our sky must become protected again. This is real and completely depends on your choice. Choosing whether you treat all partners equally. Choosing whether we are truly allies. Many Russian regions refuse to celebrate May the 9th because of Ukrainian drones. The Belgorod, Bryansk, Kursk, Ryazan and Peskov regions of the Russian Federation as well as Sevastopol in the temporarily occupied Crimea again refused festive parades and fireworks for May the 9th. The Russian edition MASH reported, It is assumed that the gatherings of weapons and troops in Russian cities can provoke attacks by Ukrainian UAVs. The traditional action, Immortal Regiment, was announced online. Komi, Chita, Transbaikal territory and the Nizhny Novgorod region also decided not to take risks and not to participate online. At the same time, as journalists note, many cities are still thinking whether to organize mass events on this day. Several Russian regions cancelled the Victory Day parade on May the 9th for the sake of the safety of citizens, says Svetlana Zurova, first deputy chairman of the State Duma Committee on International Affairs. Here, each subject is guided by the situation itself. The main thing is safety. Especially in the border regions, it is not necessary to provoke the other side to do something, bomb or launch missiles. They can also do it at people. They generally don't care. No one wants to take risks and people themselves will be in nervous apprehension. 
Therefore, I think people make the immortal regiment in a different mode. For example, they will post photos on balconies. There were different ideas on how to participate, the deputy said. In 2023, 23 cities from the regions bordering Ukraine, the Autonomous Republic of Crimea, abandoned the live celebration on May the 19th. The Tumen authorities also refused to hold events. At the same time, during the recent rehearsal of the parade on May the 9th in the Russian Yekaterinburg, the BM-14MM multiple rocket launcher system on the ZIL-131 vehicles, which is a specific rarity, lit up.